Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Poppy and today's video is going to be, um, basically I spent a little bit of time yesterday going through all my makeup because it was just a complete kind of shambles. <laughs> um, it was just a mess. And I couldn't see things I wanted to use and I wanted to this year kind of create a makeup bag of products that I kind of use every day, products I want to use up. Um, and that doesn't mean I won't be trying new products, but it just basically means that I have like my favorites almost that I always gravitate towards or things I know I want to use kind of regularly in one place. So yeah, I wanted to do a video actually putting makeup on, but also showing you kind of what's in my everyday makeup bag at the moment and the products I've chosen to start the year off with just as my favourites. Um, I've tried to do some braids, I'm not good at it at, it at all. Um, I've been sort of practising and I think I've not done too bad, so yeah. Hopefully the lighting's alright, also this top is kind of a little bit revealing for me um, but it's now £3.99 on Zara it's a top not a bodysuit which I really like and just I like the shoulder pads I like the frame I really like it so this makeup bag is actually from Charlotte Tilbury it's one of her original ones that she did when she first launched the collection and I do have the red burgundy version as well but this one was free so this is the one I'm using for this and I'm just gonna go straight in um I will just quickly mention, I do have a little bit of light tan on. It's not a dark one, it's quite a light tan at the moment. Um, and the one I've been kind of using a little bit um, and trying out a little bit is this one I got sent from Bella Mianta. I think that's how you say it, Bella Mianta. And this is their medium liquid tan. It's set in like 60 seconds, touch dry, which is amazing. It doesn't smell of fake tan at all, which I really like. It's actually quite um, florally, not florally, but fruity florally maybe. Um, and it's just a liquid. It just like glides on so easy. So I always apply this either with a mitt or like I have like a dedicated brush that I kind of use to apply it. I just applied a bit, so I'm just gonna put a bit more on. And yeah, it just develops over a few hours and it just looks really natural. So I'm going to do skin first. I haven't got any skincare on at all. I don't know if this light is a little bit light. Let's just tone it down a smidge. So I actually sorted out my skincare as well um, onto like a little tray of like my go-to kind of favorites. Um, and I'm still trying out the Vic Victoria Beckham Beauty Face Serum, so I'm gonna do that. So I do have quite a few of these little um, like tester ones that come in the set for Christmas that I showed you, but I'm going to use this one because I've been trying it. Um, and it's like a little pipette, you just squeeze it and then pop it onto your skin. And my skin is so dry. It's um, the weather as well at the moment and just Everything in general is like really drying my skin out. So this, um, I'm hoping to see like good results from. I've been trying it just since before Christmas, but I've not been sticking to it, so it's really bad, but um, I have been trying it. And so far it's, yeah, kind of nice. I'm gonna go in with my Q&A Hyaluronic Acid Serum um, because my skin is so, so dry. This is just basically like an essence of hyaluronic acid. My skin kind of really needs this right now, so I'm just gonna put quite a thick layer of this on and just pat it into the skin. I think I want to use both a moisturizer and an oil today. I wanna to try this Origins Glow Moisturizer. This is my favorite, but it's the glow version. So I'm gonna give that a go today. And then I'm just gonna put beforehand a little bit of the Garnier Restoring Hemp Oil on the face, because again, my skin is so dry because of the weather. And the easiest way to hydrate and give a natural glow before makeup is an oil. And this is kind of one that soaks in really quick. So it's not gonna be super greasy on the skin all throughout the day. But then to be fair, do I care if it is? Not really. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna give this Origins a go. The bottle is a little bit different. This is the original, I'll show you. So this is the original gel moisturizer, Jin Zing. And then this is the glow version. Um, and it's my favorite moisturizer, the gel ginseng. So I got recommended this hella amounts of times to try it. And I'm just gonna take like 
like this much because <laughs> I'm so like careful with my moisturizer because I don't want to waste it. So this is the first time I'm trying this with you guys. It's really soft, it's really subtle, but I actually like it. What do you guys think? Did you see like a bit of an instant result? Because I think it does look really nice. It's added like a tiny bit of a tint, but it's like almost invisible. Like you can't really see it, which I like. <laughs> Straight in. Perfect. All right then, so on to makeup, which is what you guys are excited to see probably the most. Ah, right, okay, before I do that, I actually really wanna go in with this. This is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. It's a little sample. You do actually get this in a pot, but it's like, it's a pink pearlescent color. It's like a pink pearlescent color, so it really brightens. And I used to use this all the time, and then I just never repurchased it, probably because I was trying so many other eye creams that I just didn't, but it's one of my all-time favorites that I've ever used. Origins products, guys, I can't say it enough. There's something for everybody and it really works. Like, it's skincare that works on the skin. Zip, zip, zip. So I've put some lip balm on already. I have three lip balms that I love at the moment. One is Nivea, which is the one that I'm just using at the moment because it's like a matte finish then i got this one for christmas which is cute it's like the little you know the love hearts sweets it's like a little lip balm that smells of raspberry like the love hearts and then i've got this one from my friend um, emily who launched her own like little beauty brand and this is the first product she launched it's called soft beauty and i love this it honestly it's a lip oil i use it every night before bed um, and sometimes just in the morning. It's like really, really hydrating on the lips, but also tastes like candy, um, really nourishes and great for like lip prep. So this one's really nice and it's 10 pounds, I think. Okay, so I've discovered this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And one thing I have found quite recently is that I'm getting quite bad pores just in the center of my face. You guys will have probably seen this if you see my videos where I review foundations and stuff and I do close-ups because, yeah, they're quite bad. <laughs> um, I say bad, they're not terrible, but for me, they're like worse than what I've ever had. Um, and I do know it's because I put fake tan on my face that I get this, as well as them just naturally expanding over time with elasticity, but I am aware, guys, <laughs> before you say anything to me, I just need the quick fix. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of By Terry CC Serum. This is the next product that's in my makeup bag because I know I'm gonna reach for it all the time because I'm just obsessed. And I bought this myself and um, it was a big splurge for me even though I had like such a great saving on it. And I literally love it. I find it works best for me if I apply it with a brush though. Not my fingers, weirdly. If I apply it with my fingers, I find it goes really streaky on me. So this gives me a little bit of a, more of a glow than I already have from everything else I use. But um, also it just gives me like that bronziness that I like on my skin as well. And sometimes if I'm honest, I'll only put this on and I won't put anything else like on top on a day to day if I, want to walk around the house feeling pretty bougie, which isn't often, but it's really nice. I've been working out quite a bit and um, I've been following um, this Instagrammer called Steph underscore fit and um, Jesus Christ, <laughs> it hurts. Like she doesn't do like weights all the time or um, she just does at home workouts and they hurt, they work. So if you guys are wanting to get a little bit into a bit more tone or a bit more into shape, she does loads of different ones. She does lives as well, um, which I don't do because they're so intense, but I just do my own thing at my own pace and they work really well for me. So I got sent this foundation from Code 8. I've already tried it before actually. I think I've got it in a slightly darker shade, but they sent me another one. I think it's too light for me. I'm going to have to just get my other one. So this is NW20, which I think is more my shade, maybe even still too light. This one is N15. So I'm just going to put a bit on. Yeah, it's too light. Um, but I might be able to mix it with a bit of the NW20. 
and I actually really like this foundation. I don't really use it that often and I probably should a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I really do like it because it's just so lightweight and it does give you a really nice like dewy look to the skin, which is what obviously I really like in foundation. And it's meant to last you sort of, like it says, day and night. It's meant to last you a really long time on the skin. Um, if you live in a hot country, this foundation I think would be so good for you. It was really good for me in summer because obviously of that longevity, but still kept the glow and the dewiness on the skin. Um, and yeah, just mix the two together. But can you see how nice this foundation is? It just soaks in, keeps the glow, but it's just really natural. My concealer hasn't changed. It's the one that I will be keeping in my makeup bag. And this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G8. Um, just patting this on my eye. I might do a little bit of a halo eye for you guys today because um, I haven't done one for a while and I don't want to do liner today because like I said before, I'm just trying to like stop myself needing to apply it even though I do sometimes because I just love it. But um, there's other things to appreciate. <laughs> So I'm trying that now. So for my highlighter today, I'm not going to go in with the five or the four. I'm actually going to go in with shade two of the Flawless Filter. Um, just more of like a highlighter rather than like a tint. I love, love, love this product. If you guys are new, you need to know how much I'm obsessed with it. It is literally magic. And look at it. You need it. Everybody in the whole world needs this product, like need. Not want, need. It's the only product I will ever tell you you absolutely need to get. So I'm not that person normally, but it's magic. It is literally magical. This is, and the packaging is beautiful. Like every time I see a thumbnail with this, with this product in, it's stunning. So for my bronzer, I'm going to be using Charlotte Tilbury's bronzer in medium. Um, this is in my makeup bag. I'm going to be trying this to give it a bit more love, actually, um, a bit more this year because I actually really like it. And I think because I always try new products, I end up forgetting about products. So, yeah, I'm just a little bit, like, I feel sorry for it. I used it the other day and it's so stunning that I need to bring it back. Um, and I need to put a bit here just while my tan develops because... I don't want to be the wrong shade. It's very pretty. I love this bronzer. Packaging's really nice. And if you guys didn't already know, this thing here on the back, this little button, means you can pop out the pan and change it for a different colour. You can buy refillables rather than the whole package, which is a good one. So I've dug out two MAC blushes um, that I have in my collection. One is in the shade Grand, it's their Glow Play blush. It's like creamy. And then this one is like quite old. This is Peaches, this is in the old packaging and I might use that today because um, I just haven't used it for years. And I'm feeling like a real peachy, peachy cheek. Put a bit on my forehead, tie it all together a bit. Might even run this through my socket of my eyes a little bit. Just to do like a kind of monochrome finish. To prime my eyes then, um, I've been going in with the MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. I'm just going to zoom you in a bit. I'm just going to pop this on the lids. It just helps the makeup, the shadow and everything that I put on top to kind of stick a lot better. It just gives the eyes a really natural tint. It's so fair, but like, it's just, it's there. It's really natural and really sort of pretty. As I mentioned, I'm going to go in with the MAC Peaches. That's what it looks like. Obviously, it's quite soft on the cheeks. Um, and I'm just going to run this like over the lid through the socket of my eye. I'm going to take a little bit of the Huda Gold and I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is this one. Just 
a tiny bit and I'm just gonna put this like on the outer corner of the eye just like this if you can hear a weird noise it's because I think someone's drilling or something weird um, yeah so I really like this it just kind of elongates the eye shape a little bit and I might even put a little bit no, I won't. I'm not going to do the halo. I'm lying. I'm just going to do the outer corner because I like the way that it's looking. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara next. The one I've truly been obsessed with at the moment is the Bare Minerals. This is the strength and length. I'll show you in a second. I'm just curling my lashes with the Kevin O'Coin. I think that's how you say it, Kevin O'Coin. Um, lash curlers. I know a lot of people say Kevin Aquan. I think it's Kevin Aquan. Um, I've heard somebody from the brand say that, so I'm not sure which it is. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm say actually saying it wrong, but I think a lot of people here say Kevin Aquan, but I don't think it is. I think it's Kevin Aquan. So yeah, the mascara I'm going to use is this one from Bare Minerals. I love it. The brush is the weirdest kind of thing. It's so strange, but I love it. And it just works, like it really works. Gives your lashes like so much length and separation and it treats them so they actually grow longer as well, which is obviously the whole point of having nice luscious lashes. Look at that. So I think I'm just gonna leave it at one coat. And for my lips, um, I'm going to use this NYX Free Spirit Lip Liner. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use a lipstick from Victoria Beckham Beauty. And this is in the shade Girl. And this is a really nice mauve pink shade. Which just brings a little bit back the rosiness to kind of the peachiness of the lip. And for brows, I'm not gonna do anything except I'm just gonna take a, um, oh, damn it, I've missed this bit of hair, Never mind. I'm just gonna take a clean, like, spoolie brush and I'm not even gonna set them, I'm just gonna brush them so they're not like pointing downwards. And guys, that is it for my sort of everyday makeup and what's in my makeup bag. That is basically everything that I kind of always are gravitating towards and things I wanna use up. I wanna go through products this year. I don't just wanna to have tons of product that I feel goes to waste. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world. Feel free to check out my Instagram as well. I'll leave it linked down below in the description box if you click the title. And other than that, I would love to know what your thoughts are on the look. I'd also love to know what makeup products you're loving this year or products you really recommend I try for 2021. I'd love to discover new products and new brands. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.